Hello, and welcome to another tutorial on Quail. Today, we'll be creating an animation of the data created from a Quail simulation. For this demonstration, I'll be building off of the Scalar 2D Constant Advection example case. This is found under Examples, Scalar, 2D, Constant Advection, and I have constantadvection.py open, which is the input file. Um, so the first step uh, is to make sure that the simulation is actually outputting the data uh, throughout the simulation so that we have some data to plot later. Um, this, these settings can be accessed in the output dictionary. We're going to want to add a write interval. And this specifies the frequency at which uh, the solution is written out. It's also good to make sure that the final and initial solutions are written out as well. So to do that, we can specify write initial solution as well as write final solution. For convenience, we can also add a prefix to this data. Uh, which can be useful for organizing later. This just depends the name of the data files with the word data. Once the input file is ready, we can run Quail to generate the data that we need for this animation. Great. As you can see, this directory now has lots of pickle files which store the data that was saved every four iterations as we specified in the input file. Now that the data has been generated, we're ready to create a script that can animate this using some of the built-in Quail post-processing tools. I've created a script called createanim.py in the same directory that the data is contained in. We'll begin by importing the necessary imports from matplotlib, as well as the necessary imports from Quail. Next, we'll use Quail's prepare plot function and get the figure and axes from matplotlib. I will create a list that will be used to store the images from each uh, data file. Now we're ready to create a loop that can loop through all these data files and plot them one by one. I'll start by printing out the number of the data file currently being processed. And next, the name of this file will be retrieved and the solver object will be generated from read write data files. Now that we have the solver object, we can unpack it to get the mesh and physics object. Now we'll begin working on the plotting. First, we'll add some logic to make sure that the color bar is only plotted on the first iteration. And next, we'll run Quail's built-in plot solution function. Some notable inputs to this function are this string, uh, which in this case is scalar. Uh, for this case, that's the only value we have to plot. But if there are other variables you want to plot, this is where you specify it. And also, if you'd like to turn the mesh on and off, include mesh will help you do that. Next, we'll copy the images from the current axis. And now these images can be appended back to the image to all list, which was created earlier. Um, with some logic included to make sure that uh, the data is appended to the correct spot on the list. The last step in the animation is to use matplotlib's animation functionality. An important input to this function to note is the interval, which allows you to specify effectively the amount of time between each frame in the animation. Now running plot.show will allow the plot to show up after processing is finished. And finally, we'll save this animation to an mp4 file. This script can now be run with quail p createanim.py. Once the script is done running, the animation should be ready. One thing to note is that there is some difference between animations for 1D and 2D cases. An example is given in examples, 1D, stiff friction, and the createanim.py uh, script that is included there. Uh, so you can see some differences between the plot solution function as well as the fact that we have to create a legend instead of a color bar. This concludes the tutorial on making animations in Quill. Thanks for watching.